Hello everybody, today is Wednesday, February 17th, 2021. Temperature right now is 26 degrees Celsius, 79 Fahrenheit. Currently I'm on Miami's downtown area, in Miami's downtown area, on Biscayne Boulevard between Northeast 9th Street and Northeast 10th Street. In this video, I'll be walking from this area to the Edgewater neighborhood of Miami. This over here is the Museum Park area. I did a walkthrough of this area and it's very nice inside the park. I highly recommend it if you're in Miami visiting for the first time. But we will walk along Biscayne Boulevard towards Edgewater. And check out what Edgewater has to offer. You can see that Biscayne Boulevard is not really a pedestrian friendly street so be careful if you need to cross over. I know many Floridians are not exactly the safest drivers and they like to drive aggressively around here. Here's a beautiful shot of some palm trees. This over here is the Frost Science Museum. Here we have the uh, bus and trolley station for this area. Currently, as of this date, I'm recording it. I'm recording this video. All public transportation in the Miami area is free. Sidewalk is closed up ahead, cross here. I think I will do that. Because I don't want to be walking over here like these people crossing over the entrance ramp to this highway here. I think actually it will be safe to cross now. Definitely looks like it. Um, I don't want to walk over here either. Let's just go here. Let's push the button to make sure. Seems like it's stuck. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll go. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. All right. Don't want to take any chances here on this busy street. Here's the number three bus to downtown Miami. But the buses all have bicycle racks. It's good I get a walk signal here. And this is the S bus. I've taken that bus several times to get to Miami Beach and it's awesome because right now all the public transit is free.
the government decided to waive all the fares because of COVID. I guess they didn't want people interacting with the fare boxes or getting next to people who are high at risk. There's definitely a lot of construction in Miami from what I could tell. Here's the Adrian Arsh Center. It's a performing arts center. Oh, I guess this is the Asian Arts Center too, a different version of it. This is the Opera House section. Um, let's cross the street carefully here. Seems like a popular area to make a right turn. What is this? Oh, I see. I see a sign for the airport there. And probably this gets onto the ramp to get onto this highway. Good thing I'm not driving around right now. There's the Miami trolley. I call them fake trolleys because they're really buses. They're not electric powered by any cables or anything. But regardless, I like the design. It's a classic car. Adrian Arts Center, Carnival Arts Bridge. Very nice bridge going across the street. Oh, you gotta be careful here. Sidewalks under construction. There's definitely not too many people walking around this area. Um, I guess the light is broken. It's pretty quiet around this area. I don't think many people walk around here. Most people here, they drive, it seems like.
but we're heading into another section of downtown where those fancy hotels are I see the Hilton the Doubletree Hotel and also the Marriott I think once I get to the section with all the hotels, I'll make a right turn and check out the area around the hotels. But as soon as I get past the Hilton Hotel, I'll be in the Edgewater neighborhood. Here's Northeast 15th Street. I'm walking underneath the Florida monorail right now. They call it the Metro Mover. But it's very convenient to get to place to place. It runs very frequently and it's completely free. And it was even free before the government suspended fare collection. So that's an additional bonus if you're coming at a time when they decide to implement fares again on public transit. I'm not sure what this building is, but it's very pretty. Lots of glass on it. Looks like this is the Ferrari dealership. Now we're talking expensive luxury cars. Maybe we could see a few from the window. Oh yes, we are doing window shopping today with this Ferrari cars. Supercars are a common sight here down in Miami. Lots of people, especially with money, live around the downtown area, Miami Beach. The Brickell neighborhoods, I've noticed. Here's the pre-owned section. Lots of nice cars here too, BMWs, I see. And let's not pass up on the Grand Hilton Hotel here. There's a Checkers restaurant. Alright, perfect timing. I get a walk signal here. But yeah, once I get past this Hilton Hotel, I'll be in the Edgewater neighborhood. I'll make a, a right turn and we'll go to the waterfront. I would imagine a name like Edgewater would have really good views by the water. There's a Burger King. Convenient if you're staying at the hotel, I guess. Just go across the street and get Burger King. Probably not the healthiest option, but at least it works. It's inexpensive. Also seems like a popular spot for some crows to hang out here. 
Then all they'll be finding some leftover whoppers on the ground from people eating it. Okay, we are in the Edgewater neighborhood for sure. I noticed a complete change in how the neighborhood looks just past Northeast 17th Terrace. Look at all these luxury high rises and apartments. And over here we have the Publix Food and Pharmacy. Um, let's see, how do I want to go about this? I guess we'll cross the street here. Let's push this button and hopefully it'll change the light. But man, this is definitely an expensive area, I could tell. Just because of these advertisements. Now leasing luxury apartments, Bay Park Towers. And then they have the Opera Tower, luxury rentals. At least you get a month free for what you pay. Speeding much? But then again, the cops are over there and they didn't chase them down. Let's see if we can cross soon. I don't want to cross when I just saw someone like that speeding there and all these cars making left turns. Now is the time I expect a walk signal. Am I gonna get one? Come on. What? A whole light cycle went through and I didn't get a walk signal? Well, I guess I'll just have to cross as carefully as I think I should. The next slowdown in traffic, I guess I'm running across. But then again, it seems like those people across the street are waiting as well. So I'll kind of have to judge it. All right, we get a red light now. All right, let's just go, whatever. Screw you, red hand. I've waited long enough. This is absolutely gorgeous. Looks like this trolley will take you to the Wynwood District. If you haven't checked out my video, I did a walkthrough of the Wynwood District. It's famous for its art and graffiti walls.
So I wonder what's past all these luxury towers. Are we gonna get a nice park? Are there nice amenities here? There's the parking lot for the Hilton Hotel. Alright, so um, the street here curves a little bit. Should I make a right here? I don't think so. Yeah, I think I'll go that way towards the park. This way just seems like it goes further south back to where I came from. Here's the Double Tree by Hilton Hotel, the Grand. Yep, definitely be careful when you're walking around here because a lot of these drivers don't yield to pedestrians. Also, speed limit is 20 here. I doubt that many drivers are going the speed limit, but. Okay, so we have a beautiful waterfront park here. This is the Margaret Pace Park. Let's head right in towards the waterfront and check out what this area has to offer. All right, so there's a lot more recreational activities here. They've got tennis courts, volleyball courts. Really neat area. This is different than the museum park area where I was before when it was just a nicely landscaped area without all these amenities. But definitely a very nice thing to consider if you're staying at one of these hotels. You can go right to this park, play some tennis, I guess, or some volleyball, if that's your thing. Or even buying a place in one of these luxury skyscrapers or renting a place. Aha, uh -huh, but the... Wait a second. I thought it was pay to use because it says register and paid applicable fees and charges. But then this one says use of tennis courts are on first come first serve basis. No reservations are authorized. So I'm not too sure if you have to pay to use these tennis courts, but be sure to check before you come here. I just tripped a little bit on the curb here, so you gotta be careful. Alright, look at what we have here. Gorgeous view of the Biscayne Bay. Got some boats already on the water. I can see Miami Beach way off into the distance. The Venetian Causeway is here as well. 
there's also another waterfront path over here which I completely missed up definitely a lot of boats here extremely gorgeous area So I'm looking on Google Maps. What I'm looking at right now is the Sea Isle Marina and Yachting Center. That's sure a mouthful. I think I'll just walk to this first pier over here and do a little panorama and then continue walking northward. Boaters have to watch for manatees here. They're protected wildlife. All right, let's continue walking. I love the architecture on this building, by the way. Someone here is about to do some exercises. This is cool. Some functional artwork here, it looks like a mosaic. Doesn't seem like this park goes on for too much longer according to the map. But there's definitely a lot more people in this park than on the sidewalk where I was on Biscayne Boulevard. So they've got solar panels here, but can you use, take advantage of them? Oh, look at that. There's a power plug and USB ports. So if you have cables or chargers, you can plug them in and charge your phone, your electronics, whatever you need to do. All right, so I think I'll be exiting the park now. I don't really see too, too much on the northern side there. But we'll head right back into the residential area and the streets. But Edgewater certainly lives up to its name.
it seems that the only way I can get to the other section of Edgewater though is to walk along Biscayne Boulevard actually no I can still walk along here for a little bit before I, I'm forced to get on so let me go this way because I didn't really like that street at all it's too car centric for me here's the plaque for Margaret Pace Park. The Miami Strong Gym. That looks neat. Oh, there's a dog park here. I didn't even notice because of this fencing. Here's a place, Pinocchio Italian Deli and Cafe. Looks like someone is getting a parking ticket. So just be aware, they do enforce the parking limits here. I love the different colors of all these skyscrapers too. This one's a sky blue. sergeant police and here we have autism I like how the police cars they decorate them in different styles got a basketball court take a look at this building this is neat looks like it gets bigger as it goes to the top Seems kind of counterintuitive. Usually it's the other way around. So it looks like in another two blocks I need to make a left. Actually, no, I don't because I'm looking at the map. I can just walk straight through. I had to zoom in to see the details of the streets there. So this is perfect. I'd rather stick to the waterfront if I can. I actually smell the water now. It smells pretty nice.
actually it looks like I can't even walk through there. They're undergoing some construction, so. There goes my plan of avoiding Biscayne Boulevard. But I guess it's good to show the commercial street as well. I mean, if you're going to live in one of these places or rent a room here, then I guess you need to know where all your options are to dine out and get services done. So let's make a left here on Northeast 21st Street. Let's see, there's a parking machine up there. I'm curious how much it costs to park in this neighborhood. People are always curious about prices. There's a pay by phone app available. All right, let's see. Enter license plate number. I mean, uh, I don't know. I guess. Let's just put in any random number, I guess. All right, uh, $3 per hour, five hour time limit, 75 cents minimum. Three bucks an hour, that's, uh, I don't know, I think that's kind of pricey. Kind of funny they have to make you put in a license plate number that way i guess they can track people to know that you're not adding time or whatever all right here's the street which i didn't like but we're forced to walk on it here we got staples across the streets there's National Young Arts Foundation. BMW dealership Brahman Motors. This is definitely an interesting property. The, no the novel, multi-room smart suites. All right, so we have a restaurant here across the streets. The Latin Cafe Biscayne. I 
think I'll be okay to cross the street after this. Is this restaurant even open? I see some paper on the windows there. No, it doesn't even look like it. So I don't know what happened to this restaurant. Maybe they're doing some renovation work. Here's a florist. They have Valentine's Day items there, but that passed a few days ago. A psychic. Here's the Grainier Bakery and Cafe across the street. All right, a real estate office. Let's see how much stuff here costs. Melody Tower, one bedroom from $2,075 a month, two bedrooms from $2,300. Square Station, downtown Miami, one bedroom, 1650, two bedrooms, 2080. Coral Gables, which I know is an expensive area, south in the Miami area, that's going for almost $3 million. Anything in this area? I mean, there's no Edgewater, I don't see. Here's one on Miami Beach for 1.75 million. Yeah, I didn't see anything for Edgewater. But real estate here is definitely not cheap. It's pricey. That's where I wanted to walk to over here, but it doesn't actually seem too bad over here now, Biscayne Boulevard. It's nice to see what's over here. Maybe I'll go for a few blocks and then I'll head back towards the waterfront. We got subway across the streets. Total uh, body cleansing over there. And Metro by T-Mobile on the corner. This seems to be a art gallery. Let's see here, it's pretty neat. French Villa wallpaper store. I'm sure all of these decoration and home goods places do very well here. If people can spend a million dollars plus for a property without thinking about it, they definitely have money to spend on luxury goods such as these. So I'm thinking after this block, I'll head right again towards the waterfront. the Mount Sinai primary and specialty care. 
So yeah, walk, looking up there, it doesn't really seem to be too much more. So we'll make a right here. There's the Latin cafe, restaurant, and bakery. Right, so this seems to be a quieter block. Gorgeous building at the end there. We'll be sure to check that out once I get there. This building over here is called the Bay Lofts. And there's still construction going on here. Hopefully we can get a good view of the waterfront once they get to the end of this block. I'm definitely loving this breeze right now. It's very comfortable. It's still in the high 70s, but it's high humidity. Yeah, take a look at this luxury tower. Must cost a lot of money to live up there. I like the end of this block here with the palm trees. Maybe there's a waterfront walk here that I don't know about. Well, it's a tiny one. 
doesn't go for too long, but at least you get a view here. All right. Well, I'll be ending this walk of downtown and Edgewater here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button for me. Subscribe for some more videos and live streams like these. And I will see you next time. Take care, folks. Bye-bye. And be safe.